what's up everybody? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be discussing a little bit about different types of basketballs. I've been getting a lot of people asking me questions about what kind of balls I'm using in this video or in that video. What kind of basketball do you like to use? Um, so I'm just going to try to give you an idea of some of the different types of basketballs, what they're called, where you can find them, or at least give you the name so you can maybe find them yourself. Um, and then also just give you an idea of what's going to work best for what type of situation. Um, so let's get it started off. This one, um, I actually just won this in a men's fitness contest uh, for NBA ball or beats. Uh, it's a game ball outdoor. Um, I, so I've never had one of these before or seen them in stores. Um, I, from what I can tell though, it's a synthetic type leather, um, which is basically good for outside um, and it's also good for inside. Um, I'll give you an example of, oh, I'm sitting on it. <laughs> This is a synthetic leather basketball that uh, I've, I've used quite a bit outside. So as you can tell, it's kind of got, it's still got a leather type feel to it and look to it, but it's, the more you use it outside and the more you, especially when you use it outside when it's wet, it will start to develop almost like a fuzzy type feel to it, which you would think would make it kind of slippery, but it actually grips pretty well, in my opinion. This particular indoor outdoor ball is, uh, like I said, a synthetic leather. It's the Wilson Jet. I actually like the basketball quite a bit. When you first get it, it will feel completely like leather almost, and very close to a leather basketball. Um, and you know what, like I said, once you use it outside a little bit, it'll start to wear down on you a little bit and get a different feel to it but I like these basketballs quite a bit. This is the Wilson Top Flight 1000. Uh, they say the material is the ZK microfiber composite. Basically, it, what it amounts to is it's pretty similar to like a leather basketball. Um, I love these basketballs for indoor basketball. I would definitely not recommend using a Top Flight 1000 outdoors. Um, another basketball similar to this would be the Wilson Evolution. Another basketball, it's got a real great material. Um, and again, do not use them outside. They will wear out really quickly and the material you'll end up getting out of it is, is pretty, it's not good for indoor or outdoor. Um, it gets really fuzzy, but in a slippery kind of way, not like a synthetic leather. I think they wear a little better outside. Um, but these are great for um, indoor basketball. I really like them a lot. They grip well, and if you use them only for inside, they wear really, really well. Um, this one's actually a pretty well worn out basketball. It might not look the prettiest anymore, but it still grips great, feels great, and um, you know that's the most important thing for me and when I'm playing indoor basketball, especially you know fundamental type basketball. And this would be a newer version of a Top Flight 1000. This one's not nearly as wore out as the other one I just showed you. So this is what it's going to look like more when it's brand new. Um, excellent grip once again. All right, this one here is the Baden Performer. I've been getting a lot of questions about which one, which basketball this is. It's the Baden Performer. Um, as far as where to get it, honestly, I can't tell you. Um, I got mine online from a website. I just Google searched it and I, you know, went out and found it. Um, but um, ho hopefully with that information, you, you can Google search and find if it's available in your country. That's you know the one thing too, a lot of people ask me, well, where do you get this ball? Well, a lot of them I'm buying online, or you know if I buy them in a store in real life, a lot of people that are on YouTube that are asking these questions are in different countries. So obviously, you know if you're in a different country, a basketball that's available for me might not be available for you. So I, I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you where to get this Baden Performer basketball. I don't even remember the website I got it from, but I do know a lot of these glossy type basketballs are very, very hard to find outside of Japan. So you'll probably have to do some searching online trying to find them. But this basketball is great, um, good grip, smooth material obviously as you can tell. Um, and with, I like the colored panels for freestyle, um, just because like when you're doing arm rolls and stuff, it really you know gives a nice visual effect. And um, you know that's one thing you might want to keep in mind when you're doing you know freestyle videos or if you're going to be performing with freestyle. You know what a, a ball looks like can really you know say something about your style or express something when you're freestyling. So um, these glossy basketballs always seem to grab people's attention when you're doing shows or for, for videos. So that's one of the reasons I like them. But I also like them because because of the smooth material, not like a um, leather basketball, they don't have the little bumps all over. For me, I like that for when I'm spinning the ball on my finger, it's, it, uh, it's a lot smoother. Um, and without having the bumps, obviously there's less friction, 
bumping on your finger from the little bumps and I, I just feel like I can spin it longer and I like that I can grip them a lot easier. I can palm these basketballs when my hands are dry um, pretty easily. Uh, they stick really well to your fingers. I can't do that with a normal basketball unless my hands are really warmed up and I get a good solid grip on it picking it up. Um, these I can, I can palm pretty easily. The only downside to these basketballs in my opinion is if your hands get really, really slippery and wet from you know sweating, they are very slippery basketballs at that point. But it takes quite a bit of hand sweat to get them to that point. But if they get sweaty, they can become very slippery. But again, to me, I don't experience too many issues with that. It's only after I've been really, really practicing a while and my hands get really slippery that it starts to become an issue. Um, these types of basketballs you can use outside. I prefer not to. Um, this is a Nike basketball. I believe it's called like the under the glass or something. I don't think you can buy these anymore anywhere. But um, this is one I use outside quite a bit. Still pretty glossy, but as you can tell from using it outdoors a lot, it kind of dulls the shine of it a little bit. And uh, it kind of also takes away a little bit of the grip in my opinion. But still really great basketballs um, to use outside also I think. I just prefer to use them mostly inside to you know, keep them as glossy as possible and to keep the grip as good as possible. Um, this is basically the same thing as the Baden Performer. This is the Lifetime Street 33, okay? Um, there's a bunch of different color schemes that they have available of these. I've seen ones that are like all black with, with the seams being like a bright green. They have ones that are black and red panel, all kinds of different colors. But the material on these is actually pretty similar overall to the Baden Performer, but it is different in my opinion. I think these have more of almost, it's hard to describe, like a, like a glassy feel to it. Um, it's it's kind of harder, whereas the, the Baden Performer has a little bit more of a rubbery, a slight spongy feel to it, whereas I think these are a little bit more firm. But once again, I really like these basketballs a lot. Um, you know, they, got a, a, they stand out, they got that shiny material, really good grip. And um, I, I kind of like the ones like this that are all one color because when you're when you're doing your tricks with them and stuff, it just looks like it's kind of you know you can't really see a whole lot of the movement of the ball. It just looks like kind of like an orb that's just floating and stuff. So I think that they're real attractive basketball. You know, for when you're doing shows and stuff like that, people will ask you a lot of questions about them, um, and you know, just want to see it. A lot of people, a lot of times, I'll go to the YMCA and practice some of my freestyle moves with these basketballs and people will ask me you know if they can just touch the basketball it's because they're curious to see what it, what it feels like um, but yeah again you know it'll draw a little attention especially great for shows and for videos all right this <laughs> this is a really 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 cheap uh, rubber basketball I'm not even gonna name the brand because there's a lot of different name brands that make them but basically uh, these are gonna be like the cheapest types of basketballs you can get um, they're good for using outdoors. Um, they they wear out very quickly. A lot of times they'll even start to deflate really quickly within a couple months if you use them a lot. And I've noticed a lot of times they'll develop little like lumps in them. So obviously not a very high quality basketball, but they work just fine. You know, for, they're good for a couple weeks in my opinion. Um, just to dribble outside and, and you know they, they don't wear out as far as the bumps goes too quickly but again I mean you get what you pay for they're kind of cheaper so they don't last as, as long but again you didn't put as much money into them so you can just go get another one but that's basically it um, pretty pretty good grip overall um, for a little while until they wear out and then it's just not very good for anything all right this one is actually a very special basketball um, this was from a street gods uh, freestyle basketball competition I did it's a Jordan basketball um, I don't think this color scheme is actually available publicly. I think this was an exclusive one that I got. I haven't seen them anywhere else. Um, but I believe it's a, basically a, like a synthetic leather. But I haven't felt another basketball quite that I've liked as much that grips as well as this one. Um, it's kind of, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like a leather, but it feels like it's got a little bit of a, a softness to it and um, kind of that, it's almost like it's got like a clothy feel, just a slight clothy feel to it. It's a real weird combination um, combination of materials it almost feels like. I'm not sure what it actually is, if it is just the leather, 
but um, as far as grip goes, it's one of my favorite basketballs I've ever had. Again, I don't think you can get these this color scheme available you know, to buy, but I think they have different color schemes and I'm pretty sure it's the same material um, of these Jordan basketballs. Really, really good basketballs though. I like them. Um, I only used it indoors, so I couldn't really tell you how long it will last outdoors. Uh, I'm actually trying to take good care of this ball because I just, like I said, it's kind of special to me. So, um, but yeah, these Jordan basketballs um, that kind of got that like synthetic leather almost type feel are great basketballs. This is a Spalding Highlight Basketball. Um, it's a composite leather. Very, very similar basically to what you're going to get out of um, an indoor basketball. Um, like a Top Flight 1000. Um, not quite as good in my opinion, but still really, really solid. And, and it's probably not going to cost you quite as much for these basketballs. Again, they wear pretty well. I like composite leather overall. overall. I think it's a real solid basketball. And it won't cost you quite as much as like a type of Top Flight 1000 or a uh, Wilson Evolution wheel. This is um, this is a super miniature basketball. Um, it's made of like a fuzzy material. I'm not really sure what it is. It might it might be leather. I think um, that's just really really worn out. And you know what? This is a tennis ball. This is a tennis ball, and um, it works really really good for throwing for my dog. She likes to catch it, and uh, I think you can get these at the store. You can buy these at the store. So that's a tennis ball. And last but not least, um, this is a Nike release basketball. I don't know if they make this actual one anymore. They're all pretty similar basketballs. They are a rubber basketball, but they are not like the cheap rubber basketballs, at least in my opinion. I think they wear a lot better, and um, I think they grip a lot better, and they don't get all the lumps in them and all that. Um, this one I actually have pretty worn out because I used it a lot. Um, again, they're, they're they're a rubber type material, but it's a little bit more spongy and soft compared to the real cheap uh, rubber basketballs that you get. It's gonna be a real kind of hard, real bumpy type leather, and it's not, it's almost gonna be feel kind of plasticky in a way, um, and just really not very good for grip. But these, these Nike bas outdoor basketballs, you, you can usually scoop these up for anywhere from $15 to $35, um, and I, I think they're great balls. I think they last for a while and they grip really well, and especially for the price, I think that they're solid basketballs. Um, and you know, obviously you can use them indoors too, but they're made more for outdoors. And uh, yeah, I, I just think they're a real good basketball. So I hope you guys found this uh, video helpful as far as you know, finding a different basketball that you might wanna use for you know, fundamental basketball, performing freestyle tricks, uh, doing videos, doing shows, etc., etc., and finding one that you know, will work well with your style and what you're trying to achieve. So, and I hope I also could help you, you know, be able to find them based on the names. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite basketball is. Maybe there was one I didn't talk about in this video. I want to hear what basketball you guys like best. All right, uh, subscribe to check out all the latest videos coming out, and thanks for watching.